Hi, welcome to our uh, Pharma Topics channel. Our topic of discussion is aerosol delivery of drugs, which is very useful in asthma and uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases, and it is very useful in emergency conditions. Four classes of anti asthma drugs are available beta 2 agonists, anticholinergic, sodium chromoglycate, and steroids that can be administered by inhalation route. This route can reduce the systemic adverse effects of these drugs. Two types of aerosols are available. One is aerosols using a drug in a powder form. It includes a pressurized meter dose inhalers and nebulizers. And the next one is aerosols using drug in solution form. They, it includes a spin inhaler and rota inhaler. Let us see the drug delivery, how the drug delivery happens to lungs, what are the devices used. So the most probable is uh, inhaler use. Uh, it is of different types, pressurized meter dose inhalers, breath activated inhalers, dry powder inhalers, and nebulizers which are useful in children, and then rota inhalers. The rota inhalers, uh, they keep the capsule and they take it via mouth. Let us see the use of inhalers with spacers. So in a case of uh, a meter dose inhaler, the patient can uh, take the drug through two possible routes. One is uh, mouth and uh, pharynx. Via pharynx, uh, a few portion of the drug that is around approximately 10 to 20 percent of the drug is inhaled. That reaches the lungs and from the lungs it reaches the systemic circulation that can lead to few adverse effects. Whereas majority of the drug reaches the GI tract via mouth that reaches the liver via portal circulation there it may get first pass metabolism or otherwise it may lead to systemic adverse effects so the, the problem of the adverse effects with the oral absorption can be reduced with the use of spacers see the use of uh, the inhalers requires a proper coordination it requires a deep inspiration for the inhaler activation if the patients are new or they have difficulty in uh, using this technique, they can use the spacers which reduces the requirement of coordination and that can reduce the systemic adverse effects also. So this video is a very short information of the use of inhalers, aerosol delivery of drugs, the uh, spacers, how far it is useful. I hope it will be useful for you. Thank you for listening. Happy learning. Kindly share this to more of your friends. Kindly subscribe to our Pharma Topics channel for further updates. Thank you.